Sound exists in the universe. Sound particles are moving through the air. So how do we capture them and get them into a computer or into a file so that we can press play and then have that sound come out of speakers somewhere? So the first tool we need in the recording process is something called a microphone. Here's the one right here. They come in various shapes and sizes. Now a microphone has a sensor in it. And when sound oscillations happen in the environment, they will cause the sensor in the microphone to vibrate along with vibrations in the environment. And the microphone has components inside of it that turn that vibration into an electrical signal. So it's gonna send that electrical signal, it's gonna pass it through a cable. And then that brings us to our next component, which is called an audio interface. So the microphone sends an electrical signal to our audio interface, which I have one right here, for example. I'll flash some pictures on the screen. And then our audio interface can interpret that electrical signal and it can then turn it from an electrical analog signal into a digital signal that can then be interpreted by our computer because computers exist in the digital domain and understand the language of ones and zeros and not so much electrical analog signals. So we need the audio interface to take the electrical analog signal from our microphone turn it into a digital signal using something called an analog to digital converter that exists inside of our audio interface. And then it's gonna send that digital signal onward to our computer and then our computer can interpret that signal and it can record it and save it and do all kinds of fun stuff with that signal once it's inside the computer. And so the third and final stop in our signal flow is going to be the computer. And so that's something that we need to think about. That's probably gonna be the most expensive part of our setup. But these days, if you're doing simple basic recordings, you don't need a ton of computing power and you could get by with a computer that costs maybe $1,000. Back in the, in the 90s and the 2000s, people were using computers with only 20 or 50 megabytes of RAM to actually make their recordings. Computers are much more powerful than that today for a lot cheaper than those were. So you can get by with relatively a, a basic computer setup and a relatively inexpensive microphone and inexpensive audio interface. Create your recording setup and you'll be right on track to start beginning to record things.